So camp's all packed up from the East Branch camping trip. I'm just going to head home a little bit. I just uh, thought I'd do a little video about my thoughts about that cabin up on uh, Thomas Mountain. Now, I'm not going to uh, talk about the politics of them demolishing it, but I'm just thinking, that's a nice cabin. That really is kind of like the living arrangement I would like. You know, I would want to add a shower and hot water and some solar panels for electricity. But, I mean, that place is beautiful. I've been looking a lot at those uh, shed to home movements, uh, the whole thing about taking those, you know, basically house shells. I mean, they're, they're, you know, they tow them in like a mobile home, but they're made out of wood and you have to insulate them yourself and run all the electric wiring. Uh, my big issue with them all is, A, you gotta know the building stuff, all the building codes, how to do it and all that. And uh, I mean, I don't mind the work, but I wonder if I could, you know, do it all myself. I mean, I'm just not, I don't have those kind of skills. I'm a political scientist by uh, training. My, my knowledge is in politics and uh, the Democratic Party and political communication is not in building and uh, that kind of stuff. Although it doesn't look like it's all that hard. It's just getting through all the code stuff and getting improve, improvements by the building inspector and knowing all the local codes. And, um, you know, I just don't want to fight the system to to uh, live like that. But I do like the idea of having something that, you know, I just don't like modern homes that there's so much to clean, so much to work to maintain. Systems are so complicated. I don't want to spend my whole life paying uh, uh, electric and gas bills when I can heat myself, use very little electricity, produce that myself, um, you know, dispose of my own waste, burn it, compost it, uh, you know, take the cans and glass to the landfill. You know, I want to have be able to have money to you know think for things like four wheelers, guns. Um, you know, have pro, you know be able to afford like 20 acres or maybe even more, so I can hunt my own land. You know, maybe get a beef cow, have that processed. So I need a, need a lot of refrigeration or a lot of freezing space to uh, store the processed meat. Um, yeah, because I mean. I don't want to be wealthy, and I, but I do want to be able to afford land. I've been saving a lot, and uh, I would actually like to be able to pay for land with cash, so I'm not, you know, mortgaged to a bank forever. I mean, my savings has been growing. I've been investing. I did inherit a small amount of money from a relative, not a lot, certainly not enough to buy a house or land. But uh, I put away what I can every week. I live in a you know 650 buck a month apartment that has a mildew problem. That's cheap and dirty. Uh, I hate the shag carpet. I would, if I own property, I'm never gonna have carpeting. It's certainly not big shag carpeting. I'd rather have something just like a hardwood floor or concrete floors. Um, maybe linoleum, but linoleum is nasty. It cracks, and it's you know it's more that toxic chemical stuff. You know, I really don't really don't like fiberboard and all that stuff. I'd rather have things that are non-toxic that when it wears out, I can burn it or uh, you know use it some other way rather than all going to the landfill like most construction debris does nowadays. Um, yeah, I just I want to have a simpler life that's closer to the earth that I can afford. You know, those nice toys like like the four wheeler, like the uh, have owning it, be able to buy a new truck every. 10 years or so and get a nice jacked up truck or something like I have now. You know, ha and have land I can hunt, I can farm a little bit. You know, I don't want to become a big commercial farmer, but it'd be nice to homestead. You know, have some grazing animals, have some of my own meat, uh, maybe plant some vegetables. Um, I don't want to have high speed internet at home. I don't want a big screen TV. I don't want cable. You know, I don't want any of that kind of fee stuff. I've never had cable TV at home. I've never had uh, um, high-speed internet besides my uh, basic cell phone. I don't expect that I ever will. You know, for getting podcasts, getting stuff like that, or, you know, downloading stuff, I, I don't mind going to a library or a coffee shop or a park that has internet. Um, I don't feel like I need that at home. I, mean, I do like having the, the smartphone for connecting to the internet, but 45 bucks a month, you know, and I need some kind of phone that is my phone too. And it's good having the, the access to use the internet or, you know, check my email for work and stuff and to just post updates. But honestly, I don't want the, the modern suburban life. I don't need a big complicated house. I want something that's easy to clean. You know, I can clean out, uh, you know, 
burn, burn whatever junk needs to be burned. Uh, and just, you know, heat with wood. Heat with, you know, make electricity myself, not, not you know, be supporting the big coal plants and natural gas plants. Maybe it's not the greenest way to live. I understand not everyone can own 20 acres of land or 40 acres of land. You know, and I understand that probably my lifestyle would have more carbon pollution if I drive the truck to work or whatever vehicle I have to go, you know, commute away. But the flip side is I just like the idea of being self dependent having money to uh, have the nice toys that I want to have, and, you know, not having a big fancy house that has to be maintained. I mean, I'm fine with my mildewy apartment for another 10 years now, 10, 10 or 15 years so I can grow the money, so I can afford a place and get a job in a state that, uh, you know, respects my freedom. But uh, for now, I mean, I like going up the Adirondacks every few weeks, camping and traveling and doing stuff. And I like my current job. I mean, the work is great. I like we're great clients and great stuff that I do. But it's certainly not, you know, there are certainly better places to live, better, better, you know, better way than trying escapism, which is really what camping is for me and traveling. But I do enjoy being out in the woods. I do enjoy my freedom. And uh, hopefully someday this can be my life, not just uh, get away on the weekends.